Hey, what is going on, gamers? It's Dr. Wrestling signing back into another episode of Knights and Dragons. In today's episode, we just got all done and dusted with the weekend. Uh, we did have a war for that one. Had some things going on in global. Had some things going on in the EU. Uh, I think we do have raid going on right now. Uh, so we do have that raid boss that's live. So we'll probably be hitting with that one and talking about some different things. This channel is a gaming channel where we talk about tips, tricks, and different pro strategies. So if you play Knights and Dragons, consider subscribing before you go. Without further ado, cue that intro. All righty, switching on over into the game. Let's see exactly where we start out. I think we, yep, we're over here on the global server. Man, we were smashing in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, so we did end up uh, 17th. We were going with a free to play, but there were some guys that were some heavy, heavy freaking hitters. Uh, so Kansas City, Missouri, KCMO, as most of you guys know. Let's go and take a look at the top here. Um, let's see if there's anybody that we know. Zombie Killers, uh, the Four Horsemen. Oh, look at that. Sob Rock sitting up there at number eight. Q Mob at number nine. Nice. Uh, Dirty Ghetto Kids. That's funny. Uh, yeah, there we are. So we weren't too far behind, but I mean, we, again, I was on a free to play run, uh, definitely had fun with those guys. Uh, we did get the, what milestone is that? 105,000. That's where we ended, ended up at. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, let me know if you guys got the armors down in the comments below. Um, hopefully you guys got them. I know that it was pretty expensive over in the global and keep a secret, but I did get it over in the EU server. Uh, so we do have the raid boss here uh, sitting in 39th. Uh, we do have to make sure and get some attacks on this guy. Uh, I don't know how many milestones that we're going to be able to get, but I don't know if I want to do it in an episode or not. I probably should do it in like a live stream format because it probably would take some time. Uh, I'm trying to think if I have time today, which I don't think that I do, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can hit. Um, I don't think it's going to be very good because I don't really have too many good armors to go ahead and attack this guy. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and see what happens. Actually, this one looks like a pretty decent lineup. And we'll go with that one right there. Let's just see if we can go ahead and take out a level 5. That's 20,000 points. Um, I think we should be able to do it, even though we're getting a little bit of a disadvantage and everything like that here. Uh, we should be able to do okay. Uh, did we do this the last raid? Was it water? Or I thought it was water and air, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't water and air. Because if it was water and air, I would have had all the earth and spirits. So, um, yeah, it looks like we're able to take this guy out, no problem. Level 5, 20,000. Uh, not sure exactly how well we would do on a level 6. Definitely would have to try and get something a little bit different, something a little bit stronger and not um, getting damaged as much. So yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that is going to be everything here in the global server. Um, let's see what we got. Anything? Let's take a look at the news. Um, you guys know all that stuff right there. I know that we do need some broken shields, uh, but not going to get it in the arena battles. Got that, got that. Um, yeah, that's going to be about everything over here on the global server. I believe we do have heroic mode coming up tomorrow, so make sure you use one of your friends right now, and then you're going to be able to use 19 friends tomorrow. I think I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that. You guys know most of the time I don't do heroic mode over here on the global server, but in fact, I am going to be doing that over on the EU server. Really hoping that we can get some heroic pluses over on the EU server, and I think that's going to help us out quite a bit. Uh, we're definitely stacking up over here on the global, doing some pretty good things, and I just really want to get into the routine of potentially going on some raid runs. Uh, I think we do have the armors for those, and as well as getting those uh, seasonal armors. Uh, so I think that's going to be the main focus of what we're going to want to do over here on the global account. And over on the EU server, you know, we're going to be running, trying to get some good armors for our arsenal and everything like that. So without further ado, let's go and switch on over there real quick. 
you know, it sure is pretty amazing how quick that can happen. Uh, so we do have the same thing. Everything's the same with the news, yada, yada, yada. Let me know if you guys are going for the seasonal armors. Those things are pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our knights. And yep, there we are right there. So we did go ahead and get that armor. Uh, I don't think I have this thing very, yeah, 93. So not very much leveled up. Um, but yeah, I don't have the fusion boost or anything like that for him at the moment. I don't think I did anything with the ring and the amulet. Let's go ahead and take a look and see where we ended in the guild war. And yeah, uh, so we did in uh, seventh place right there. Uh, leaderboards, let's go ahead and take a look at that. We'll see who's in the top top tiers. Looks like Spain. Spain always us usually does a pretty good job. France for Empire, German Devils, Final Fantasy. Yeah, so that's going to be everything for the top 15 right there. You guys can see that we finished 7th place, so did pretty good. Uh, sitting over there in the middle of the pack, you know, nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. And of course, we got the ring and the amulet. Uh, I don't know what I want to do with these seasonal pieces. Uh, so let me know down in the comments below what you guys are going to do with yours. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and get them all converted over into the other one. So typically if you get them converted over and then here in a few months, you're going to get a chance to be able to get those feathers again. And I think that's going to be kind of the best way, especially right now on the EU server. Uh, I don't feel like we're going to be able to get seasonal armors, you know, really anytime soon. So how many did we have of those two? Nice. That's not too bad. Uh, so yeah, I don't feel like we're going to be able to get those seasonal armors, you know, anytime soon, especially with, you know, the lineup of armors that we have. Uh, but again, heroic mode, pushing in different events and stuff like that. You guys can see I got 886. So you guys know that I spent a little bit of gems uh, to make sure we got some of those, to make sure we got the ring and the amulet, make sure I'm hitting those, uh, not milestones, what's the word that I'm looking for? Minimums, make sure I get those minimums and everything like that. So uh, yeah, so definitely make sure, I mean, if you're new to the game and you know, or if you've been playing for a while, what you really wanna do is you wanna get to level 100, that's what you wanna do first. Then you wanna make sure and save your gems, watch your daily videos, make sure you're doing arena and everything like that. Uh, after that, you're gonna go on a couple top 15 war runs. Uh, after that, you're gonna get a couple different heroic mode armors along with those T15 war runs. Now, after a while, you're gonna have a pretty good, you know, usually like two to three backup armors that are pretty decent or okay. Then you're gonna be able to go on some different raids and, you know, pushing top five on raids and stuff like that. Get a couple of those pluses in. And then at that point, hopefully, you know, you've got a strong enough army and, you know, you know quite a few people in the Knights and Dragons community kind of at that point. And then you're gonna be able to get some seasonal armors. So a lot of times it's pretty easy to be done if you focus on your wars, folks on your raids also able to get some heroic mode stuff done so yeah um, i'm definitely going to get hold of the crew see if maybe we can record some heroic mode videos uh, I know that I'm going to make sure and get those because Heroic Mode wasn't too bad, but I definitely put way too much energy into the EU server. Um, I should have just taken all seven days nice and easy and effortless. Uh, effortless, yeah, just taking it easy. Uh, we have seven days of complete Heroic Mode, and especially in those beginning stages, it could have been a lot easier. So, yeah, uh, but anticipate a couple different videos. Uh, for heroic mode tips and tricks. If you guys enjoy, please make sure to smash that like button. Definitely helps me out more than you know. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please make sure and put those down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe before you go. This is Dr. Redstone signing out. Thanks, YouTube. Peace.